Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video, I wanna teach you how to use WHMCS and Web Host Manager to automate creating accounts on your VPS hosting package. So for this video tutorial, I have built out our Hero 2 Gigabyte. If you go to our VPS hosting page, you will see it right here. Now, as I've said throughout my video tutorials, that the two gigabyte server is really best for development purposes. Since we are in the cloud, you can upgrade at any time to the four, to the six, to the eight. Um, but it, especially since this server runs cPanel and Web Host Manager, you know, I really like to see you have at least four if you're going to production with this, meaning if you have traffic, if you have customers coming onto it. Um, but since we are demonstrating, we're going to demo using this, and I'm going to show you how to integrate the billing system, WHMCS, so you can automate creating hosting accounts with your VPS hosting package. So right now I'm inside the Name Hero dashboard, and um, it looks like this when you log in. And I'm going to click on Cloud Web Hosting. And then I'm going to select Hero 2 Gigabyte because that's my example server that I'm going to be installing WHMCS on and configuring it. And I want to go into Web Host Manager. So I'm going to click to right here. And this will bring up a new window with Web Host Manager. Now, Web Host Manager, if I click List Accounts, I can see the um, domains that are currently on this server. And um, if you want to be able to create these accounts automatically, that's where WHMCS comes in. So let's talk about WHM in a nutshell really quick. If you've been following along on my blog at namehero.com slash startup, I'm doing a training course called VPS Hosting 101. So if you're watching this video on YouTube or on Facebook, make sure you head to our blog and you enroll for free in this training course. And you just click at the top, you'll see Training Center, and you'll see the VPS Hosting 101 course. And in that course, I go step by step um, to how to use your VPS more efficiently. Uh, one of the things is using your VPS to resell web hosting. One of the main benefits to this is you're able to resell master reseller accounts, meaning that you can offer reseller hosting to your customers. So the cool thing about using Web Host Manager is you, audit, you, can, use, you can set all this up inside of there, but you can use the billing system, WHMCS, to automate the entire process. So that's what I want to show today is actually integrating that because while well, Web Host Manager is awesome, I mean, you can look here to your left and there's many different functions you can do. Pretty much everything inside of managing your hosting business can be done. However, it's not automatically done. So using WHMCS, it adds another piece to this whole puzzle to where you can automate the, the whole process. So I want to install WHMCS on namehero.org um, that, because that is my primary domain for this um, for this VPS. So if right now if I go to namehero.org, you can see it's just a basic page. So I want to install WHMCS. So the first thing I want to do is go into cPanel and I want to scroll down here to the bottom where I find WHMCS over here on the right. I'm going to click it and click install now. Um, we'll keep the protocol the same here. So keep it namehero.org. Now this says in directory. If I want to install WHMCS in a subdirectory, I can, or I can install it on the root domain. So if I go to namehero.org, right now I just see an index of page. If I install it in the root domain, when I go here next time, it's going to be WHMCS. If I want to choose a subfolder, which means I would have to go slash maybe WHMCS, then I would see my billing system. So for this demo, I'm going to install it in the root, so I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to leave these other options default, the data directory default, the cron job default, company name. You can change all this stuff later. If you know the name of your hosting company, you can put it here. If you, maybe you're still deciding on it or want to configure this stuff later, you can. Um, you do need to put a valid email, though, just in case you get locked out. So I'm just going to keep billing at namehero.org. Now, valid license key. You have to have a WHMCS license key. So let me show you how to get that. I'm going to go back to my client area here. And I'm going to click on add-ons and click view here to order. Now, it's important to note that we offer the WHMCS license at a discounted rate for our customers. Let me show you. If I go to WHMCS, I misspelled it, WHMCS, and I look at the pricing, you're going to see for a plus license, it's $18.95 a month. Now, if I go over to Name Hero here, I scroll down to plus license right here, click Hero 2 Gigabyte, 
order now. You're going to see our discounted rate, and actually I already have one in my cart, um, is $14.95. So you're going to save $4 a month by ordering through us at Name Hero. So that's a benefit to being our customer is we have a discount um, built in for you. Now you're free to go to WHMCS and pay them, but you have the same benefits ordering through us at Name Hero. There is no difference in the type of license you get. You still get their standard support. It's still customizable with no branding, and it's still hosted on your own server. So it's um, that's just a special we provide here at Name Hero. So I'm going to complete my payment. Once I do so, I will resume this video and show you how to install the WHMCS software. Okay, once we get our payment info entered and the order completes, you're going to see we have a quick survey. If you enjoyed the experience, we would appreciate all five stars. Since I'm demoing, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to hit close, and you can see order numbers here. So go back to the client area. We're going to click on Cloud Web Hosting once again. We're going to click on here a 2 gigabyte. We're going to click on Add-ons. And now we have our license key. So it's going to be right here. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go back to my installation screen and paste it right here. So that's um, as quick and easy as it gets. So we can go down here. I'm just going to leave this default. Um, I recommend clicking this key and getting a secure password. Since I'm going to be demoing today, I'm going to use just pass just so I can get in and out really quick. Um, but of course, if this is production, you want to make it hard to guess because um, this is going to be your admin area where you can create accounts and delete accounts on your server. So you want to make it really hard to guess. Okay, I'm going to leave all this other stuff default for now. I can change this later, uh, but for now I'm just going to leave it the default. And there is one more thing, admin folder. Um, you want to make this a little bit hard to guess as well. You don't want to leave this admin because that's where the hackers are going to try to go to. So I'm just going to call this VPS server. VPS server. That just makes it random. So only you and your staff will know that address to the admin URL. So now I'm going to click install. It's going to download and begin the WHMCS installation process. Okay, it just takes a couple seconds there, and now we are installed. So, uh, you know, really that happened in about a couple microseconds, so it did not take long for WHMCS to be installed. Um, so now it says successfully installed on namehero.org. So if I go to namehero.org now and refresh it, you can see WHMCS is installed. Now, the cool thing about WHMCS is it provides a nice templating system that is um, responsive, meaning it will work on um, any device you have, uh, including cell phones and tablets. So if I, I can make it small and it looks nice and I can make it big and it still looks nice as well. Um, so this is good for those of you that are, you know, maybe you've been managing your customers manually. Um, now you can use WHMCS to automate it and you have a nice little website to where you can, um, you know, begin getting started. So I want to go through the quick setup process in WHMCS. So you can see our administrative URL. Remember we defined it as VPS server. So I'm going to click it. And now... I need to log in. So I'm going to use my admin and pass. Remember, yours should be a lot stronger than that since we're demoing. Mine's a little bit um, easier. Now, when we first log in to WHMCS for the first time, we have their getting started wizard. If this is your first time using WHMCS, I recommend going through it because it's just it's a very quick process to, um, to demonstrating this, and it will make sure you hit a lot of the important items to getting your WHMCS configured. Okay, so now I can enter my company name. Right now I've got Name Hero LLC in there. I'm just going to call this Demo Hosting. If you have a logo, you can go ahead and upload it. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can add it later. Um, your email address, this is the default email address, which is going to be the default sender. So I'm just going to use billing at namehero.org. This is where you want to put your mailing address. Again, if you don't have this, you can add this later. Uh, this is going to be shown on invoices, and it says here your address is displayed on invoices. What country you're in? I'm in the United States, so I'm going to leave it there. I speak English. Next. Okay, so now this is for um, merchant accounts for your WHMCS. I recommend using PayPal. Um, PayPal is, as it says, the world's leading online payment solution. Um, you'll notice a lot of your customers want to use PayPal to pay. They like the buyer protection that PayPal offers. Um, since it's been used with eBay for years, most people have a PayPal account. Um, and it's easy to get started as a merchant. So all you have to do is enter your email address, um, your PayPal email address. So I'm going to enter billing at 
namehero.org is my PayPal address. Now, if you don't have one, you'll be prompted to create one when you receive your first payment. So you don't even have to go create, if you don't have a PayPal account, which I'm assuming you probably do, but if you don't, you can just put your business email address here, and once you get your first payment, you can then go configure your account to get the payment. Okay, now next is a merchant account. Accept credit cards using WHMCS, quick and easy application, the best rates guaranteed. So basically, WHMCS has partnered with a merchant account service to where they're getting a, I'm sure they're getting a commission for this. Um, if you run a business and you've got your stuff in order, you can go ahead and apply for one. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Stripe because Stripe is a really quick uh, and free um, setup process. And yes, there is fees, but the fees are the same as PayPal. So I'm not going to use this. Mail-in payment, I also think, is a really bad idea unless you are a local agency. If you're a local web development agency, you're dealing with customers you know, then do this. But if you're accepting, if you're looking for customers all around the globe, this is going to bring some trouble. I, I've never personally had luck with mail-in payments. Someone asks, and normally when they ask, they're up to no good. Uh, most people nowadays, if they don't have a PayPal account or if they can't pay with a credit card, then you probably don't want to deal with them in the web hosting industry. And also with PayPal, they can make credit card payments. So I'm going to demonstrate using PayPal, and I'm also going to add Stripe so they can integrate with um, credit cards directly. But they can also pay with any major American credit card or just major credit card using PayPal. Next. Okay, now I want to enable selling domains. So if you intend to sell domains, we can enable domain functionality for you now. Um, so if you're offering web hosting, then you probably want to do this. You probably want to at least offer the .com, the .net, the .org, the .biz, and the .info. Um, because a lot of your customers are going to want to register domains and transfer domains um, to you. It's the ultimate upsell with web hosting, right? Um, it makes it easier, too, just so they have everything in one centralized area. So this is going to be the price for these um, TLDs, these uh, top-level domain extensions. Um, $14.95, you can change this later on, but that's a good starting point, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to show you how to get a free reseller account. Um, so your reseller account, of course, you have to you're going to have to pay a fee for the .com, the .net, the .org, and the .biz. Um, so you want to make this price greater than the amount of your reseller account. Okay, so we're going to click to get our free account. We're just going to leave this enabled, and now we're going to be able to create a free reseller account. Next. Okay, so for our free account, we have to enter some information. So we're going to enter Ryan Test. Email billing at name, billing, bill, billing at name hero dot org. That street, Kansas City, Missouri. And please don't enter my information, enter your information in here. It's going to want to enter our phone number. We'll just use mine. Desired username. Now this is going to be. Now remember this password. You need to um, keep this in mind and remember it because you're going to need it to get into your Enom account later on. Ah, favorite vacation spot. Okay, now we'll click next. And this is going to create us a reseller account with Enom. Now, Enom is one of the most popular um, domain resellers out there. If you've ever used Namecheap.com, which is a really popular registrar, they actually are an Enom reseller. So by you having that, you're going to be using you know, the, the reseller company of choice, in, in my opinion. Okay, so that's been enabled. So now we need to integrate our server. So if we're using our VPS, which we are, um, we have to enter the information in here to make this work. So now we're going to go back to our client area. We are going to click on here, go to cloud web hosting, click on our two gigabyte server, and we need this information about our server. So our host name is alpha.namehero.org, so we're going to copy this. We're going to go back to WHMCS. Our host name is that. Our username for this is going to be root. We want to grab our root password right quick. We're going to grab it from here. Copy. We're going to paste it. 
Now, once we do that, we want to verify the connection to make sure that we entered everything correctly. Connecting, please wait. The moment of truth awaits us. Now, while we're waiting on it to go through that test, we can enter the name of this server. I like to call it, you can call it server one, server two. This is for you to identify the server. We're going to call this one alpha. Um, primary IP displayed in welcome emails. Go over here, primary IP. Copy it. Paste it. Primary name servers. Now remember, we define this, if you've been following along in our VPS Hosting 101, we defined and set these up earlier. So it's ns1.namehero.org and ns2.namehero.org. So we're gonna paste that and paste that, ns2. Okay, and it's still taking forever, so we're gonna just click next and I will show you in the next step, um, we can make sure that verified correctly. Okay, setup complete. You can now begin using WHMCS. Okay, now there's one important thing. Um, Enom requires your server IP address for API access. Click here. Click here. And you can see, in order to use the Enom API, you must first contact them and let them know the server IP address where you'll be connecting from the server. Log into your account on the Enom website. So it gives you directions here. So we have to do this first. So before we go any further, we are going to log into Enom and do as we are instructed. Actually, let's open this in another window just so we have it in here. So remember, we just set up an account at um, NH or demo. Okay. Now you can see add API live environment setup. Add or delete IP addresses allowed to access your account on the live environment. Okay, so this is gonna be the primary IP of our server. So we'll go back to our um, client area here and we wanna copy this and we wanna paste this in here and click add. It's been added. So now we are good to go with Enom. So click here and we click nhorg demo. Okay, so we, we can see the account we created. Now, before we can start registering domains, transferring domains, we have to fund this. Uh, if it doesn't have any funds, it won't work. So we click here to refill it. And so to get started here, we will add funds to this. Um, you can see we can use credit card, PayPal, check, or wire transfer. Um, I recommend just using a credit card and adding your funds. But I'm going to go ahead and continue and um, configure um, WHMCS, but $25 is the minimum amount. So that's all you have to get on there, and then they can rebill it um, once that balance drops lower. Um, another thing that I like to do is if you click Reseller, and you go to Manage, Pricing Editor, you can look at your pricing. You can look at how much it costs you. So for a .com, your cost is $9.45 a year. .net is $11.62 a year. So this way, when you're setting up your domain pricing, which we'll go to in a second, you can make sure your pricing is better than this. Or you're making a profit over this, rather. Okay, so now we've done the enum. We can close this. We'll just leave this open. Go back to WHMCS, click Finish. Okay, so now we've completed the wizard. If you need to get back to that wizard at any time, it's still in the help and setup wizard, just in case you feel like you missed something. Um, we do want to go back into here, and I want to go to products and services and click on servers, and we want to make sure that we're, we're still, we're tested here and good. So we click here, and you can see here, we set this up and test is successful. Because remember earlier, it was, it was kind of lagging as we tested it. You want to make sure this is all good. Um, so it is. So this means that we are good to set up uh, accounts using this. Now, I like to um, add my IP addresses here by the name servers as well. So I like to fill this in. So my IP address for NS1 is here. And if we go back to here, we can go to show IP and grab our IP address for the um, NS2. So the setup wizard allows you to make it functional, but I like to go back here and then kind of fill in the nitty gritty. So assigned IP addresses, the main one's this one, the second one is this one. The monthly cost, you wanna enter the cost of the server because this is how you're gonna know if you're breaking even or not. So we're gonna go back into our client area and we can see our price is 538 a year. So we, what we wanna do is we wanna divide this out um, per month so we know how much we're paying for this VPS per month and then we know how much we need to make. So 44.90 is our monthly cost. 
So 44.90. Data center slash NOC. No, your customers aren't going to see this. This is for your information. Name hero. How many customers do you want to put on this? Okay, a VPS that costs 44.90, we probably don't want to put 200 on. Let's just say 50. I think that's a good one. Next is your server status address. If you want to have display the status page, then we need to upload this um, onto your server. Um, I wonder, we can do this at a later date if it's not our, or a later time. But, and you can see it's, it's actually uploaded by default by WHMCS. So namehero.org slash status, copy this, paste that in here. Um, this is if you want to disable it. We don't. We want to enable it. So go down here. We've got our server details. Um, the API token was created for us automatically. And click Save. Okay, so now WHMCS is tied to our VPS. So now when customers come to sign up, their account will get created but not so fast. We have to go through a couple more options. So after we um, configure all that, I, want, I like to go into general settings and I have to add, enter my password again. And I like just to make sure that all these are proper. And now since we went through this um, you know, a little quick, I wanna make sure that we are all good um, to go on this. So company name, demo hosting, uh, billing at name hero, here's our domain. Remember, we didn't do a logo. Um, so if you wanna go ahead and add your logo now, you can. You can just put your URL to the logo. Um, our WHMCS system URL, this is where the base system lives. Um, template, um, six is the only one we have installed as default. I recommend just keeping that. Now, um, the default. Uh, limit to activity log, you can leave that, leave this, maintenance mode stuff, friendly URLs and all that. Okay, now let's um, go ahead and click save if we make any changes or not so we don't lose it. Localization, character set, leave it default. Date format, now if you're in the United Kingdom, you know you might want to change this. If you're in another country, change it to your format. I like to use the standard American format. Um, the client date format, I like to use this. Default country, English. Allow users to change the language. WHMCS is actually um, translated automatically, many of the, um, the inside, pa the back end pages. So I like to leave that enabled. I know at Name Hero, we have quite a few customers that use that. So we, we like to keep that um, on there. Just leave this default, remove extended characters, leave that default. Ordering. So this is um, the templates for your order form. Um, if you go to namehero.org, actually, since we don't have a hosting package, we might not see this yet. But this is going to be what templates this. So you can change the look of it if you would like. I like the standard cart, but you can play around. You can go and click on these and go back and look and, and see what they look like. This is just give you a little more customization, um, a sidebar toggle to toggle the sidebar of the order form. Um, this says if you want to make them agree to a terms of service. So most likely you're going to want to create a terms of service document um, and upload it to your website. Once you do that, you want to click this and enter it in here. So you know a lot of you can Google um, web hosting terms of service. If you're a new web host, you can go to Name Hero, especially if you're a Name Hero reseller. Go down here to Terms of Use. And you can use ours for a format. So you can actually go through here, of course, change name hero to your company and kind of copy and paste and mismatch and, you know, make your own terms of service out of that. Okay, so let's keep going through here. Um, Auto redirect on checkout. And this is just some more customizations. Leave it default if you don't want to change any of that. Allow notes on checkout. Um, that's up to you. A monthly pricing breakdown. This shows the pricing breakdown per month. So let's say you're going to offer a package yearly. This will show the user what it is per month. I, I want to do that because it actually kind of makes them, you know, see what they're paying per month versus the whole year. Block existing domains. If the domains are in your system, you want to block it? Yeah, probably. Um, no invoice email on order. If you don't want them to invoice when new orders are placed, I like to do that. Skip fraud check for existing. Um, I'm not doing the fraud check yet. Only auto provision for existing. I like to leave that disabled. Enable random usernames and sign up anniversary pro data. I like to leave those the default. Save. After that, we go to domains. Okay, so if you remember, we set up our enom account. So allowed clients to register domains with you, that's built in. Allow clients to transfer a domain to you. Allow clients to use their own domain. Okay, we're gonna allow all of that. Enable renewal orders if they can renew the domain. Auto renew, auto, auto renew requires product. Uh, this means for only auto renew free domains that have a corresponding product. 
um, and you can go through all of these individually. I'm not going to go through in this whole video here um, explaining these. Just if again, if you don't know, just leave them default because the system is designed um, to um, to operate as um, as you intend it. And you want to use the client's details for their domains. Click save. Okay, mail. If um, you don't want to change this, if everything is working, leave it at PHP mail. See, a lot of customers will go editing this stuff and they'll have problems. Um, support. This is for our support desk. We want to just use the WHNCS built-in system. You can leave all this default. Invoices, we're going to leave that default. Credit, affiliate, security, social, and other. Oh, social is important. If you have a Twitter, put it in here. And um, then you can enable the tweet and Facebook buttons as well as the Google+. Plus. Other, you've got some more stuff in here that you want to show on your order forms. Um, just leave it default unless you specifically um, want to make changes. Um, that's in a nutshell. And if you, you know, I, I recommend spending some time in general settings, making sure you have everything um, like you want it. Um, but as this video, I don't want this video to get too long. I want to show you how to create your packages. So we're going to go into setup products and services products and services here. So you can see there's no product set up. So here I want to show you how to create a basic web hosting package and I want to show you how to create a master reseller. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add our web hosting package in our web host manager. So I've changed my window over to web host manager and I want to add a package. Add a package. We're going to call this basic. This is going to be our basic hosting package. Disk space and bandwidth. You, you're free to make it unlimited if you want, but I'm going to make this disk quota for 10 gigabytes. So 10,000 megabytes. I want them to have 500 gigabytes of bandwidth. So 500 to 3 megabytes. And I'm going to make everything else default. Or unlimited, rather. Unlimited, unlimited. Now, you can change these limits based on what you want to um, offer your customers. If you want your customers to you know, have a set number of FTP accounts, if you want them to have a set number of email accounts, this is all based on your pricing. Um, so you can do that and, and define it in here. If, this, if you want to give them a dedicated IP, you can. Now, since this server only has one IP, you're only, allowed, you're only able to have one customer, so you probably don't want to do that. Shell access, I like to charge more for this. So this, since this is the basic, I'm not going to enable that. CGI access, yes, you want them to have that. Cpanel theme default, feature list default, local English, add. So now we have a, a package. And now we're going to create the corresponding package in WHMCS. So first, we want to create a new group. This is going to be for our shared hosting. So we, we're just going to have shared hosting. If we have a tagline, um, you can just select your plan, private tagline, um, best WordPress web hosting. Vado payment gateways. Right now we just have PayPal set up, so we're going to use that. Order form, we're just going to use the standard and click save. So now we have our group set up. Once our group is set up, we can then create our product. So create a new product. This is a hosting account, a basic hosting account. Um, it's in the group shared hosting, and we're going to call it our basic. It's the same package we just added here. We're just now adding it in here. Click continue. Now we have to um, fill out some details about this. So remember, we said this is going to have 10 gigabyte of disk space. We add a BR to break. Um, it's a break rule to break the line. You can see it's right here. It's a new line. And 500 gigabytes bandwidth. Break rule again. And then we can enter the other features. So we go over here, and I like to use this as my guide. Um, so what we can do is copy all this here. Copy these. And paste. And this just is going to show on your order form um, your package and what it looks like. So let's go through these right quick and make this look nice and pretty. So this is just really a description of what the customer is going to get when they go through your order form and they go to buy hosting, um, what it looks like. Max email list, unlimited. And again, you can set limits on these when you're setting these up. I just set them to unlimited because I'm doing a, a demonstration video. Um, but if you want to limit this, you'll you'll be able to upsell them into a, a maybe a package that costs more. 
So that's um, you know something that you may want to consider, and only you know how you want to set up your business. I'm just going to do a, a generalized um, setup here, but I will say the max add-on domains. A lot of people, and including us here at Name Hero, will charge a premium for this because this basically means they can host unlimited domains. So if you allow this here unlimited, um, you know you might want to charge a little bit more of a premium. But since this is a demo, I'm just going to leave that unlimited. I want to break. A new line on each one, break rule on each one. Okay, so now the welcome email. So this is when they sign up. What welcome email did they get? You can edit this if you want, but the folks at WHMCS are so kind, they actually have this formatted for us. So hosting account welcome email, and it's going to be beautiful, I promise. They've made it really nice and easy. Okay, required domain. Yes, we want them to show the domain options. Stock control. This if you want to limit the number of accounts that you have. Now, remember, this VPS this is on is allowed to set up 50 accounts. So if I wanted to limit this, I could. Don't recommend it, though. You can always do that later. Apply tax. If you have to do tax in your local area, you can. Featured. If this you want this to be more prominently displayed on your order forms, you can click that. If you want it hidden or retired, you can do that as well. I'm just going to click Save. Now I've got to set up my pricing. So payment type free. Well, we don't want it free. We don't. Want, if you want to charge a one-time fee, you can. But I like to make it recurring. So now we've got a couple different pricing options, like start off monthly. So let's say this, since this allows unlimited domains, let's say our price is $8.95 for a month. So this means a person has to pay $8.95 a month to buy the package. Now, if they want to pay annually, we're going to give them a bit of a discount. So if they want to pay annually, we're going to change the price to $5.95 a month. So what we want to do is take $5.95 and multiply it by 12, and it's $71.40. So now if the user pays us for a year, they're going to get a discount on this. Now let's say if they want to pay triannually for three years up front. Well, we're going to discount the price to $3.95 a month. So $3.95 times 36 is 142.20. So this way, a user is rewarded for paying longer. So, and you're going to get more cash up front. So if they want to pay by a month, they pay a little more. If they want to pay um, every three years, then they're going to pay less in the long run. Okay, allow multiple quantities. I don't recommend that. Recurring cycle limits. Um, if you want to set a fixed cycle number of limits, you're probably not. Auto terminate. This is more for free trials, so we don't want to do that. Termination email, you don't want to do that either. Prorate billing. I don't enable that, parade a date, charge next month. I don't recommend any of that. Okay, so pricing is done. Let's head to the module settings. Okay, so now module settings, this is what the servers, this is what WHMCS is going to configure. So this is a cPanel server. So we're going to select cPanel. Server group is none because we haven't set one up. But you can see it automatically pulled in our basic package that we've created over here. So it automatically knew, since we've synced the VPS to WHMCS, it knows that this is there. So it is automatically selected. Now we want this to be set up as soon as the payment is received. So automatically set up the product as soon as the order is placed, or as soon as the payment is received. The order placed is not good because you want to get paid. So you want to do this option here. Automatically set up the product as soon as the first payment is received. So you want to get paid before you give them their hosting account. But this will automate the process of them setting up um, their hosting account with you, okay? Um, this way that you can be asleep as long as they pay, their account's set up. And this is the beauty and the joy of WHMCS. Okay, we're going to save it. Custom fields, we don't have to worry about this. Configurable options, we'll, we'll cover this later on. Um, this if we wanted to um, add um, additional options. Upgrades, if we have a package upgrade, let's say we have another package they can go to, we would do that. Uh, free domain. If we want to give them a free domain registration with this, maybe if they pay yearly, we reward them with a free domain. So let's say offer free domain, um, renew as normal, if they pay us triennially. If they pay for three years, we're going to give them a free domain. This allows you to select the TLDs that are free, so maybe just the .com is free. So we're going to go down here and save that. Okie doke. So now we have set up the shared hosting accounts. So now if I go back over to my WHMCS and click refresh, you can see here is the basic hosting account. So now if they click order now, they can go through this wizard and it's going to set up their account. Now really quick, I want to show you how to set up a reseller account um, to offer reseller hosting. This is shared hosting. I want to show you how to set up reseller. So I'm going to go to WHMCS, set up products and services. 
And our first group's shared hosting. Our second group is going to be reseller hosting. So create new group. We're going to type in reseller hosting. Um, just select your perfect plan. And you can change this later on. You know, this is displayed right here. See, select your perfect plan. You can change this here to select your perfect reseller plan. I mean, whatever you have, um, the best reseller hosting online. I mean, this is just stuff to customize that order area. Okay, group features, if we had, uh, you must save the product group before you can add features. Um, PayPal, standard order form, click save. Okie doke, so now we've created a group called reseller hosting and now we need to add a product, create new product. And this is gonna be for our basic reseller. So we're gonna call this basic reseller. Um, hosting account, it's a reseller account, product types reseller. Product group, reseller hosting, basic reseller, click continue. Okay, so now you're going to be able to create um, reseller accounts, meaning that when someone buys this, they're going to have access to Web Host Manager and they're going to be able to start their own hosting business with this package. So the benefit to this is you're going to be able to make more revenue per customer. So we're going to go back to our WHMCS and we're going to go back to our reseller center. If you're following along in my, um, if you're following along in my, um, my video tutorials here at VPS Hosting 101. Um, you can click Edit Privileges and Reseller, um, Edit Reseller Name Servers and Privileges, and you can see we set up what's called an ACL list called Basic, and we can load that so you can see it here. So we're going to integrate this list here with our um, hosting package. So um, we're, we're going to use this for reference. So let's go back into here. So for this master reseller account, they are allowed to create. 100 gigabytes, um, use 100 gigabytes of space and 200 gigabytes of bandwidth. So we're going to put that here. 100 gigabytes web space, break our rule, and 500 gigabytes bandwidth, break rule, create unlimited accounts, overselling allowed. So I just did some basics um, with what they get with this. And this all, again, it comes from here. We set this up earlier. Once you, you only have to set up your ACL list once, and then you can use it over and over again. So I'm going to welcome email. It will be a reseller account. Um, you want them to have a domain. So I can scroll down here. Stock control. No, I don't want to do that. Apply tax. Featured hidden. Nope. I'll do that. Save. Now it goes to our pricing. So this is going to be recurring. And now we can charge a little bit more uh, from a reseller account, especially with the 100 gigabytes. If we're going to allow them to create an account with 100 gigabytes, we have to charge them for it. So let's say this is $39.95 a month. And if they want to go annually, we'll discount the price to $29.95. So now we'll do $29.95 times 12, which is $359.40. And if they want to do triannually, to 36 months, we'll discount it to say $15.95. So $15.95 a month times 36, and we'll give it to them for $5.74 since 20. So if they want to pay you for three years up front, you're going to get a nice, uh, nice bit right up front. So that's why you reward them with a lower monthly um, cost. Okay, again, we're going to leave all this stuff default. Click Save. Module settings. This is the important one because this is what allows us to automate this. So the module name is going to be. Um, once again, it is cPanel, and this is going to be, I'm sorry, it's going to be a reseller, a cPanel reseller. Okay, I'm sorry, here it is. So this is going to be, what's the package name in Webhost Manager? Um, you can use the basic or the default. This is for the primary um, domain that is going to be set up. I like to use just our, just our basic or default because it's just for a package for the primary reseller. You still have to enter your disk space, which remember we said was 100,000 megabytes and 500,000 bandwidth. We get it? Yes. Our ACL list, basic. So we're just pulling the information that we set up here. We're just pulling the same stuff. ACL list, basic, and we just got it all set up in here. Okay, we want to automate this, so as soon as they pay, then the account will be created, and click Save. All right, 
Now, we can go to custom fields, leave that, config options, nothing, upgrades, nothing, free domain, if we want to add a free domain, we can do that, um, renew it as normal, but if they want to sign up um, annually, we'll give them a free.com, or maybe try annually too, so we'll select that, we'll give them a free.com, okay, and click save. Okay, now if we go back to our WHMCS, and we go to order hosting, you can see we've got shared hosting, they can order here. And we've got reseller hosting. They can order here. So now they have the option to do either one. And when they make their payment, it will automatically provision and set up and they'll be ready to go. Um, so now that now they can begin, you, you can begin processing orders. And that's all there is to it. Um, and as soon as they sign up, you will be able to process your own resellers. You'll be able to process your own shared hosting um, and you'll be able to begin running your business. Now, there's one more thing I want to demonstrate on here is if I go to billing and I want to go to gateways. So it's in the, I'm sorry, it's in setup, products and server, payments, payment gateways. WHMCS likes to change their uh, menus a lot on me. Okay, so I can see I've got uh, PayPal is enabled. So go down here and we can enable Stripe. So we can go down here to Stripe right here. Um, and so Stripe, registering a Stripe account is super easy. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate in this video, but if you want to be able to accept credit cards, you can go to stripe.com, set up an account, and then you can, you just need your secret API and publishable API, and you can begin accepting um, Stripe. Um, so that's just another payment way, payment gateway that's super easy to set up that I definitely wanted to show on, on this um, tutorial. So I'm going to deactivate it for now since I just set up PayPal, but I, I did want to show that before we conclude this. Um, I'd also want to show this too. In store, you can see we've got all these options now, um, but in reseller hosting, we can click here and a user has the option to register a new domain. So new reseller website, check available so you can see this whole order flow but remember how we set the pricing at a discount for 12 and 36 months you can see this is reflected here so you know as you, as your user wants to pay longer they get rewarded but they also see what the monthly breakdown is um, so I wanted to demonstrate that that remember we get to free domains with that and then they get this um, package as well so they can click check out and once they pay their invoice here then their reseller account is set up and they'll get their email, they'll get their own client center and they're really off to the races at that point. But that's how you use WHMCS to integrate your VPS to offer reseller hosting and shared hosting. Let us know if you have any questions. We'd be more than happy to um, you know, help you out to, um, you know, to, to help you troubleshoot any issues that you may have. But um, besides that, we're going to conclude this VPS Hosting 101 video. So thanks much for watching and good luck with your reseller hosting business using NameHero.com.